So I'm getting ready to mount these uh, static ports to the side of the fuselage, and I've marked my location. It's between these two longer ons here off of the uh, third rivet, and I've just gone down, put it right here in the middle. So this is the uh, port that's from Dynon, and I'm gonna make an opening that's the size of this half inch section here. So that's the only thing that'll be protruding through the aluminum. And on the back side, and this is actually, this is half an inch right here. And on the back side, this is nine sixteenths. And this is what the uh, uh, connections will screw into. So I'm trying to think of how to, how do I get this in here and so, and keep it in place. There's, you know, people talk about drilling rivets and things like that and countersinking rivets and things like that to hold it in place. I'm looking for a more cleaner look. And I think sometimes maybe rivets might disturb the airflow around this port. So what I've come up with is a concept of, I'm going to cut the hole half an inch here. From the inside, I'll push this out and I'm gonna use this strap to the inside that I'll attach to the longer on, on the bottom part, this longer on on the bottom. And then I'm gonna drill out this rivet here slide it up into the bottom, a U-channel, which is that, that longer on is a U-channel, slide it up into here, drill a hole through it on the inside, and then put my rivet back in place. On the bottom, I'll have a riv nut and a screw set so that uh, if I ever want to replace it or we need to get inside to do maintenance, you just take the screw out and then you can just lift this piece of aluminum up out of the way. And so that'll give it a little bit of pressure to hold this in place, I'll use a, um, I'm actually gonna use this uh, Loctite uh, EA608, which is a structural adhesive to hold that in place. So here we go. So I've installed the riv nut and I've got my four millimeter screw. I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily install this strap in place. And then once I get that tightened down, I'll go ahead and drill from the inside to mark the opening um, of the port from the outside. I'm also feeling up in here to make sure I've got that rivet uh, lined up from the outside so I know I've got that in place. And then I will drill that out as well and that and then come in from the outside to mark the location of the hole for that rivet so okay this is lined up i'm gonna go ahead and mark my start my hole so that's a 330 seconds uh drill bit pilot hole I'm going to widen that hole or open that hole up a little bit to an eighth of an inch. This is number uh, 30 bit or one eighth inch. And I find I can see my opening here on the outside and I'll go ahead and take the strap off again this is a one half inch hole So I've cut my hole now and take my static port here, check it out. Perfect. So that is perfect. So now what I need to do next is cut that hole from one eighth of an inch to nine sixteenths. So it'll fit into the back of the static port.
So I'll go ahead and test this. I'll go ahead and install the strap back in place. And see if I can temporarily get that to stay in there, but I'll, I'll get it in there once I get this on. Okay, so now my strap is holding the static port in place. Everything looks good on the outside. And then, so the only thing I have left to do is drill that rivet out that's in that longeron here, and then drill a new hole into the back of this strap, and then reset the rivet to hold it in place. But first, I'm going to install or I'm going to apply some of that structural adhesive epoxy to the back side of this first. As well as to the front to secure everything in place. Everything looks good. Now all I gotta do is drill out this rivet up here and we'll be done. I'm also going to uh, put a small washer underneath that screw and put a little Loctite on there. So you can see my static ports here. This is the rivet I'm gonna drill out. I like to use a spring-loaded punch to help with these a little bit. And there it is. That's out. We'll go ahead and drill the hole into the back of the strap. Set the rivet. Push the strap up and against it. Feel that the rivet's coming through. There it is. Perfect. And there we go. All I gotta do now is the other side. Okay, so both static ports have been installed and they are bonded in place with epoxy and straps from the back side uh, just give it that little added uh, you know secure it a little bit better and uh, that gives me the streamlined look it's pretty clean and flush and um, look pretty much what i was looking for and just wrapping things up with the installation of the static lines uh, as always with these static lines they need to go up outside of the port or from the connection to the port to prevent any water from getting in and then that's why the t is so far up and then uh, see that line there goes down up to the adahars so Static lines are in.